The last one of the level one problem is written more like a word problem. And this is a little bit more realistic because it's describing something happening chemically. We could do this in a lab. And we would just be taking 0 0.0150 moles of silver nitrate and 0 0.250 moles of calcium acetate and dissolving them in one liter of solution. So we have to figure out what are those concentrations. It's convenient that it was done in one liter because then we can turn it into molarity without too much difficulty. And it's easy to see that if I put 0 0.1, 0 0.015 moles of silver nitrate, I would end up with a 0 0.015 molar solution. But for the acetate, I get 0.5. And how did that happen? 0 0.250 moles of calcium acetate, when it splits up, I'm going to end up with two acetates for every one of the calcium acetates. That's why my concentration of acetate is twice as much as my concentration of calcium. So when you see a word problem like this, make sure that when you cal calculate your concentrations, you're taking into account that the source might give you a 2 to 1 or sometimes even a 3 to 1 ratio. Now, the fact that it was 2 to 1 in the source doesn't have any effect for us at all. The actual reaction that's going to happen for a precipitate would be a 1 to 1. It should have a little plus sign in there, that this silver acetate, that forms from a one-to-one. -one. So I can just come up with my KSP expression, substitute in my numbers from up here, and calculate Q. When I compare this with the one from the table, I find out that Q is greater than KSP so a precipitate will form.